Hello friends and learners, I welcome you in the video and today we are going to discuss on factors affecting protein binding and we are dealing with part 4 of protein binding. Part 1, 2, 3 and we have already covered. In part 1 we have seen what is the significance of protein binding and how it affects the pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics of the drug. In part 2 we have seen what are the different proteins present in the blood with which the drug interact or the bind. What are the properties of the drug which are essential for protein binding. In part 3 we have seen the factors affecting protein binding which are related to the patient drug and protein. Now in conclusion with that today we are going to discuss the drug interaction. Now to understand we have gone through this figure. Is the patient, the patient has taken drug, the drug has gone inside, now it has interacted with the protein and there is formation of a drug protein complex. This is protein, we have depicted this by this way. Now this is protein and this is the drug. Now before starting with this, there is a basic concept which you have to keep in mind and which we already know, we have already discussed in first video also that only free drug is responsible for pharmacological action. Why? Because only free drug interacts with the receptor and action is seen. It means if the concentration of free drug is increased, action is also increased. If concentration is decreased of free drug, action is also decreased. Now sir, why are you telling this thing? We will get the answer. What happens is, whenever the patient is already taken a drug. Now, the, if the patient has taken one more drug or just after one drug, another drug is taken or we can say that concomitant admission is there. Sometimes complexity can occur and that complexity is only called displacement reactions. How it happens? Let us see. This patient has taken the drug. This is the drug. The drug is bound to this protein. Now we know and we have also seen in the first video that before the dose of a drug is determined there are some characteristics which have studied and according to those characteristics only the dose of a drug is determined. For example, if the drug is 95% protein bound, see this is the basic property of any drug. A drug can bind to protein more than 95% also, it can bind to 80% also, 60% also. It is the basic and inherent property. So whenever the drug or whenever the dose of a drug has to be decided, this factor is considered. For example, if the drug has ability to bound with the protein around 95%, only 5% is available for the action. It means if 100 molecules are given, the action will be seen only by 5 molecules. Rest 95% molecules will bound to the protein. So, as soon as this 5% goes away, another 5% detaches and this concentration is maintained as 95 to 5. Sir, why are you telling this? Why? Because if the patient is taken this drug and simultaneously or just after other drug is taken and if the, this, the drug which is taken afterwards, it has the affinity for the same protein and if it competes with this drug for the same side, it can displace this drug. And because of this displacement, there can be increase in free drug concentration. And if there is increase in free drug concentration, we know that action will also extend. Even if 5% of drug is displaced, as we have seen, there will be two times of pharmacological action. The drug which is displaced is called as displaced drug 
and the drug which causes displace, displacement is called as displacer drug. So when it occurs, when there are two or more drugs and they bind to same site and competition occurs, there is displacement of one drug by another drug. Due to this displacement, there is increase in free drug concentration of displacement due to which there is toxicity or extension of pharmacological action. For example, this drug is warfarin. The patient first he is on warfarin dose. Afterwards, he has taken another drug which is displacer drug that is phenylbutazone. Now because this phenylbutazone has the affinity for this protein and has high affinity than this it will cause the displacement of warfarin due to which their warfarin concentration will increase, extension of pharmacoglexion and it results in hemorrhage and it can be lethal, patient can die. So the question arises, does this kind of effect is seen with every drug or we can say does it happen with every drug? No. This kind of drug-drug displacement reaction is clinically significant only when the displaced drug and displacer drug they have certain characteristics. Now what are those characteristics? Let us see. Interaction is significant only when displaced drug, for example, warfarin, it is more than 95% protein bound. It has low volume of distribution. Low volume of distribution means the drug will remain confined to the blood compartment. And if the drug is remain confined to the blood compartment, definitely we know that the pharmacological action is related to the concentration of drug. It means extension of pharmacological action will be seen. Third, this displaced drug, it also show narrow therapeutic index and it shows fast onset or adverse effect. Means in this case, as soon as the warfarin has been released, because we know it is fast onset of action, that's why this kind of action is observed. Similarly, if we want to see this kind of action or this type of activity or this kind of interaction, the displaced drug show fast onset. Now we will come to the characteristics which are required by the displacer drug for this interaction to be clinically significant. The first one is this displacer drug should have high affinity as displacer because if this drug has high affinity in comparison to this then only it will be able to displace this displaced drug from here. Second, it competes for the same binding site. See competition is arising between these two for the same binding site. If the drug is binding at this side, there will not be any competition. Therefore, we can say same side should be there. Third, show rapid increase in plasma drug concentration. Means plasma drug concentration should be fast. Now, the whole thing which is arising, just what happens when the drug has been displaced? Now, depending on the properties of this, we can expect what will happen. If the drug is highly lipophilic, means we are talking about the displaced drug. If the drug is highly lipophilic, it means if we are, we are talking about the volume of distribution. If the drug is having property of high volume of distribution, it will leave the blood compartment and it will be distributed to the extravascular tissues. If it will remain confined to the blood, extension of pharmacological action means increased pharmacological action will be seen. This free drug, when it will pass through liver, we know liver is responsible for metabolism, it will result in the decreased T half. And also when it will cross through the kidney, it will be excreted. So again we can say that there will be decrease in T half. So overall we can summarize the effects of drug-drug interaction in this way. See, we have seen P and D here also. It is a complex. D is the displaced drug. 
Displacer is responsible for displacement of this due to which there is increase in concentration of displaced drug. Now, this displacer drug can displace this only when it has both concentration and affinity in a definite amount. It means both concentration and affinity it determines the displacement. If the affinity will less, it will not be able to displace. If the concentration will less, because it is competition. The more molecules are there, the more dominant it will be. So therefore, concentration is important. Now this displaced drug has displaced. Now this is a displaced drug. When the displaced drug comes into the blood, there is increase in the concentration. It will interact with the receptor and there will be increase in response as we have seen in case of warfarin. Second thing, if the displaced drug has affinity for storage tissues, in that case, tissue redistribution will be there. Third thing, when the displaced drug reaches to the liver, the liver will metabolize and hepatic clearance will be seen, therefore, decreased TRF is observed. Similarly, when the displaced drug it passes to the kidney, it is excreted, means the renal clearance is observed, and we can see again decrease in half life of the drug. Now we will see the important drug interaction. One example we have already seen phenylbutazone and warfarin. Second example we can see sulfonamides, tolbutamide. Tolbutamide is a displaced drug, and sulfonamide is the displacer drug. The patient he is already on oral sulfonylureas, which is tolbutamide. And when the patient takes sulfonamide, this sulfonamide, due to high affinity, it causes displacement of tolbutamide, increase in concentration of tolbutamide, therefore, increase in pharmacogenation means increased hypoglycemia. One more example we can see the patient he is in therapy of methotrexate. Now, if in the same patient sulfonamide is taken, methotrexate is being displaced from the protein binding site due to which increase in concentration of methotrexate and methotrexate toxicity. So, this is about the displacement interaction or the competition between drug and drug and it is how it is important. Now, we will see the competition between drug and body constituent. So far we have seen competition between drug and drug. Now what are the body constituent? The body constituent are like fatty acids, like bilirubin. As the drug binds to protein, these body constituent also bind. And the drugs can displace these body constituent. It means the body quints, they act as displaced drug. For example, free fatty acids, they have tendency to bind to albumin. And there are drugs which bind to albumin like benzodiazepines and propranolol. What happens is there are certain conditions like myocardial infarction, like diabetes, like fasting there is increase in free fatty acids and because these free fatty acids they have more affinity for binding to human cell melbourne and if the patient is on benzodiazepines these free fatty acids they will displace the benzodiazepines from protein binding site due to competition for the same site therefore there will be increase in free drug concentration in such patients so this is how one example Second example, if the drugs, acidic drugs like sulfonamides, like sodium salicylate, if, it, if these drugs are taken in neonates, newborn child, they cause displacement of bilirubin from protein binding sites. Bilirubin is a body constituent? Yes, it is. So what will happen? When it will be given to a neonate, this bilirubin will be displaced from the protein binding site. Suppose this is the bilirubin and sulfonamide, they will cause displacement of bilirubin due to which there will be increasing concentration of bilirubin. This bilirubin, because the neonate blood brain barrier is poorly developed, this bilirubin will cross the BBB of neonate 
and it will cause damage to the brain and that condition is termed as chronic terrors. So this is example related to competition between drug and body constituent. The next factor is allosteric changes in protein. We have been studying in allosteric inhibition what happens there is modification or the alteration in the structure of protein. Similarly, we can see here also allosteric changes can be seen and these changes in protein structure it can be brought by drug or the metabolite of the drug and due to which the binding capacity of this the particular protein can be changed. For example, aspirin when it binds to human serum albumin it acetylates the lysine fraction and what happens because of this? There is change in binding capacity towards non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. How come? For example, phenylbutazone. In case of phenylbutazone, this human serum albumin has increased affinity after acetylation by aspirin. And flufenamic acid, another NACIDs, in this case, there is decreased affinity for this albumin. So here we complete the factors affecting protein binding of drug. This is how we will keep on meeting and making pharmacy easy, drugs and medicine easy. Please subscribe the channel and also don't forget to press bell icon so as soon as video is released you will get the prior notification. Please keep in touch. Best of luck.